back into exposing this game, Fortnite. I recently had some comments on the old video, and they were kind of uh, rebuking me and telling me that I was wrong, and I'm a pretty open-minded person, so I was willing to go back and look and see maybe they have a point, so I got back into looking at the game, and it's even worse than I thought it was. I just want to show you some things that I didn't point out in the other video. I don't know if this stuff just wasn't around at the time that I made the other video, or if it's new, or what's going on, but... I wanted to show you some pretty dark stuff. Okay, this, the first one is this Fortnite Dark Fire Bundle gameplay video. Right there you see the triangle there. And we'll get more into that later. But this triangle that they're doing, you see Jay-Z do that. You see LeBron James do that. It's a pretty just dark game overall. I mean, I don't see how you could debate that it's not a very dark game that you know you shouldn't let your kids play you shouldn't be playing it i mean they pointed out on the last video that i was using the halloween skins and they said they're just scary because of the halloween okay well this is from june 5th 2021 it's not halloween look at this somebody going into a skull cave here Looks very dark and demonic looking here. Now she sees some type of female wicked spirit on a throne. I don't know what that is. Or Aurelia. Maybe you could enlighten me on what that is. Then you got the Loki, the god of mischief. A new character on the game. And I know that's from some show. If it's the show I'm thinking about on the Disney Plus, he actually comes out as a bisexual on the show so that's pretty crazy and then you got LeBron James and uh, he's a new character on the game and look I want you to look at how he is introduced on the game definitely a counterfeit here of the Lord Jesus Christ and his coming you got him coming from the clouds you got a lion. You see, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, he comes as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And the Bible says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. And he is a king. What do they call LeBron James? King James. What's the Lord's Bible called? The King James Bible. He lands on a mountain here. Got the wicked rap music. Making use of LeBron's number change to the number six. I think there's significance to that. And I know people will say I'm probably looking too much into it. And they'll say, well, you, why are you spending so much time on an irrelevant game? Well, look at this. The Fortnite channel, 10.7 million subscribers. This is in your home, most likely. If you have a kid, you probably have the game Fortnite in your home. And you're going to notice the all-seeing eye symbolism all over the game. Look at that, with an X in there, and that's significant. I could get into that another time. But look at the LeBron James character here. Got the demonic looking wings. I mean, kids look up to this guy, they worship this guy. Notice he's got the crown. He's got the weapon. The lion weapon here. Watch the NBA Finals. Got messed up there. And they got all these uh, silly dances. A lot of those are a bit strange as well in the game. And I know that this is the person that made the video did this, but I just thought this was quite strange. Six, six, six. And I mean, I know that's a coincidence. The guy that made the video did that, but you know. Now uh, this this guy here, this uh, I believe his name is. 
Dominion or something like that on the game. And he's got this thing on him. I'm pretty sure, I mean, he's the character with it, this flaming sigil. And I mean, I, I don't know too much about this stuff. I've, I've had to look up, look into it just to make this video. This flaming sigil or sigil, I can't even pronounce it. So excuse me if I didn't pronounce it. But I got into looking up what this is. And it has to do with witchcraft stuff. This thing on the... I mean, he looks like a devil. I mean, come on. He looks like a devil here. And I looked this up and... Look at this. Sig sigil magic. And you can create your own sigil. This is a witchcraft thing. Witchcraft knowledge. How to make a sigil or sigil. However you pronounce it. And that's what is on that character's back. That's crazy. Look at this. And there's the pentagram. You see that in the Fortnite game. It's a crazy thing. And I just... I mean, this video wasn't hard to make. I just looked up skins on Fortnite. And look at this. The skins. Look at this guy. And then... You got the all and i symbolism here. Look at that. And... Just to give you a few verses on that, if you're not familiar, you see the Antichrist is going to get a head wound in the middle of the tribulation. It says in Revelation 13, 3, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. So this head wound has to do with him, something happening to his eye. In Zechariah 11:17, it says, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock, the sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clanged dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. And the all-seeing eye is something that's used heavily in the occult, the witchcraft, Hollywood, and that's why you're seeing this stuff. And, let's see, look at this. Got the all-seeing eye there. Then you have, I don't know what this guy is, so one of the, one of the skins on the game Holding some type of book here, it looks like. I doubt it's a Bible. Uh, he's got the triangle. Heavily used in witchcraft. Has A lot of times has the eye in it. Then back to that triangle thing. This is was that dark fire bundle that came out. And she's doing the triangle thing. You see Jay-Z do that. And look at who else does that. This is the pastor of... The Church of Satan. He's dead now, but this was Anton LaVey. He does the triangle thing. LeBron James does the triangle thing during the uh, anthem before the games. And here's that Dominion guy. Looks like the devil. Something like the devil. Got that witchcraft sigil or sigil, whatever you call that. Then you got this. Uh, more all C and I symbolism there. Then this. This is... Dis a disturbing thing to me. This guy's name is something like Fallen Love Ranger. Sorry if I got it wrong, but something like that. So he's fallen. He's got wings. He's got horns. Mm, sound familiar? Uh, fallen Love Ranger. And something significant is this symbol on his chest here. And I didn't know this, but up until a few weeks ago when I made that last video about uh, how the sodomite movement is going after your children somebody pointed out to me that this was the uh, pedophile symbol on one of the people's shirts in that video and i was like I, is it really and i looked it up and it it is i mean this says federal bureau of investigation intelligence bulletin and symbols and logos used by pedophiles to identify sexual preferences little boy lover is that symbol and it looks very similar to this symbol and he is the fallen love ranger so is he a little boy lover a fallen little boy lover ranger i mean what is he boy lover you see that that's a strange thing you see they're after the kids here you got another skin a female most of the female skins in the game are very immodestly dressed dressed up like you know, you don't want your daughter dressing like that. You know what I mean? There you got the all seeing eye symbolism. You got the as above, almost looking like the as above, so below thing. A lot of the 
characters do that. And then there's those pedophile symbols again there. And then here's more all CNI symbolism. He's got the heart. He's got the X. He's got the heart and the X here. Strange, strange stuff. And then you got this guy. I believe his name's Midas. And all CNI there. All CNI there. All CNI symbolism here. And one I covered here with horns. Uh, little demons in the background. Midas. Then you got, I guess, Midas's wife, I believe, here. Something like that. Got the messed up eye for the one eye symbolism there. Doing the as above, so below, it almost looks like. They always got one hand. I'll show you that too in a minute. They always got one hand facing upward, one hand facing downward. And that's because... You got Baphomet here, one hand upward, one hand downward. He is a, a transvestite. The reason that they're trying to push this transvestite stuff is because their god, Baphomet, is a transvestite. And look who he loves, children. He loves the children. There's your pentagram, the upside down star there. Look at this guy. This guy's name is Malchus or Malcor or something like that. He's got the third eye. He's got the all seeing eye on his little axe. And here's the upside down star, the pentagram on this person's weapon with the, the devil horns. Three fingers down, denying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Got the pentagram on her shirt. Got the devil horns. And you say, well, that's just a star. Could be, sure. I mean, uh, people use stars and don't have an agenda behind it, but, I mean, she's got devil horns and t devil horns on her hand, and it's upside. it looks upside down to me. So, I mean, come on now. You're not f kidding anybody. Then you got, you know, the immodestly dressed characters for women. It's, it's not good. Once again, what's up with that? The all C and I symbolism, one I covered. Is it a coincidence? Is it? Doing the devil horns. Got the pentagram again. The demon wings on the back. The horns. Then I, I mentioned this guy last time. They said, well, this guy's just just a Krampus or whatever. But he, I noticed he's got the, that symbol pedo symbol it looks like could be wrong on his feet i mean and he just looks demonic anyway come on now but i mean this is some crazy stuff going on if you're playing this game or if your kids are playing this game i would just get rid of this game if you can and i just want to give you some a few verses here i got to thinking about that dark fire bundle it's just strange. It called it dark fire. That's what's going to be in hell. In Matthew 25, 30, it says, And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Outer darkness. So hell is outer darkness. Yet Matthew, or Mark 9, 43 says it's fire that never shall be quenched. So it's dark and it's fire. Hell has fire, but it's dark. That's because the, the, the flames are so hot that they're black. It's dark fire. And that's a place you don't want to go to. The Bible is clear that if you die without the Lord Jesus Christ, then you'll spend eternity in hell. And the Bible makes it clear in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death. You are a sinner. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God in Romans 3.23. So you have sinned against God. And there's only one way to get payment for that sin. And that is to come to Jesus Christ. And you can do that right now. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15.3-4. says, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So Jesus Christ died. He died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. He died on the cross for you. He shed his blood for you. The Lord Jesus Christ 
who was God in the flesh. He's God in the flesh. He shed his blood for you. And you can't get to heaven by living a good life. You can't get to heaven by being baptized. You can't get to heaven by being a good person. You have to come to Jesus Christ. The Bible says it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. We can't do good enough to be saved. you got to come to Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Will you be saved right now? Will you come to Jesus Christ right now? Just come to Jesus Christ right now the best way you know how and tell him that you will rely on him to be your crucified, buried, and risen Savior. I remember the night I got saved. I, I just got down on my knees and said, God, I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve to go to hell, but I know, Lord Jesus, that you died on the cross for me and shed your blood and was buried and rose again the third day. Would you do that right now? Please do it right now before it's too late. And then after you do that, the Lord will help you quit playing this game. If you're addicted to this game, understand it's an it's addiction with some people and you may not be able even to quit right away but god can help you quit this game and you can replace this game with the bible get you a king james bible and replace it replace that game with the bible but it just just pray it pray this prayer with me right now lord I, just say lord i know you died on the cross for me I know I'm a sinner and I don't deserve it. I know you shed your blood for me and I'm, I'm willing to come to you right now and believe on you to be my Savior. Please, Lord, save me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And if you, it's not the prayer that saves you. It's about your heart. Are you believing on the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart? And if you mean that prayer from the heart, then you're saved. And you don't have to worry about going to hell anymore. And you can have victory over this wicked, wicked game that people are playing. I mean, this is a wicked game that people are spending so much time on. Six million views. Six million views. Two million views. Just come to the Lord Jesus Christ right now, and He can help you with this game addiction. It will change your life. You don't have to be in bondage to a game anymore. You don't have to have this coming in between you and your marriage anymore, in between you and your school anymore, in between you and God anymore. The Bible is clear. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I hope you'll do that. And if you'll do that, send me an email at this email right here. HinsleyBibleBeliever at gmail.com And let me know what, what decision you made and I can I can help you. I can give you a, to, to show you how to get a Bible. I can show you anything you want to know. 